I'm Uli Dreffer, so I work for Red Hat, so for Chris in the CTO office. I'm nowadays mostly working in research. I'm Ron Krieger, I'm professor at Boston University, and co-lead with you the, uh, the collaboratory, Red Hat Collaboratory um, at BU. So doing systems research is hard because you actually, to get a real system that people can really run applications on is really hard. And a lot of times we build artificial systems and they're toy systems, and you can run a few experiments and benchmarks on them, and you kind of hope that you can throw it over well and uh, somebody will use it. Um, and uh, what our kind of vision for the collaboratory was to create projects where we could actually do things together, a development team from Red Hat working with the research team to build innovative systems that could actually be useful directly. Um, and that was kind of our vision. It sort of offers enormous value for research. Do you want to say a word about the value to Red Hat for this? No, for, for Red Hat, we can, to some extent, see this as a force multiplier, you have to see. So we have, of course, inside the company, the pressure to deliver something which is mostly ending up in the product. And most of the time, you will have a hard time finding justification enough that someone found something which could be regarded as more pure research. And this we take now as an opportunity to actually work on projects which might not in the near future we like result into something which we actually can take to the market. And that's very important in my opinion, not only because uh, we, we cannot just stand on other people's shoulders and, and benefit from them, but also to some extent I see this and that every company which reaches a certain size has the moral obligation to actually contribute to the larger goods in the sense that they are also bringing forward the technology. So, um, I think there's been a whole bunch of projects that have kind of worked out pretty nicely so far. Elastic, elastic scalable infrastructure, um, the, uh, that's going upstream in the OpenStack community, end-to-end um, -end tracing work, uh, which getting incorporated to Ceph um, and other Red Hat products. Security, Keyline is now being integrated as an attestation infrastructure um, across a whole bunch of Red Hat products that came out of a research engagement with us. Um, the Chris project, which you'll hear about in, in Chris's talk, and the name is purely coincidental. Um, open cloud work that's gone into the mass open cloud. Um, storage work, we've had all this work going on in the Rados Gateway as a caching tier, uh, which Ura over there can talk about if anybody wants to, um, that's going upstream into Ceph and that's resulting in sort of a new model about um, being able to have uh, S3 storage access from anywhere in the cloud. And what we want to do is focus this afternoon on just one area, which is, as Chris had said, we think there's this fundamental transformation. This is part, he totally stole what Uli was going to talk about. But what we think is that there's this fundamental change where now suddenly operating systems and hardware is again really relevant. And we've started kicking off a whole bunch of projects. These are, some of these projects are about a year in and a bunch of these projects are just starting off. Um, so you'll hear about some really early research projects. Yeah, so some of them are really tied to problems which we have been seeing, which are not just new inside Red Hat and so on, they actually have been developed somewhere else, so you will see this. Some of them are really far out, so based on some, uh, some papers and so on, you will see hear this later on about this. We are also touching areas which Red Hat traditionally hasn't been looked at at all, so we haven't really been involved in the development of hardware or anything like that in the past, so this is now up to some extent changing, at least with the advent of reprogrammable hardware, we have an intersection there. And I think we have the possibility to at least imagine how a world would look like where we are uh, applying the free software model to the world of reprogrammable hardware because this is actually not something which the industry, which it actually has been doing this for a long time, has ever taken seriously in my opinion. So they, this is all about proprietary IP blocks, et cetera, and monolithic applications running there. So we're now working on, you will hear Ahmed later talk about an approach, how we can actually make this more look like software than in hardware in the traditional sense. So that's all we want to say. I um, hope you enjoy the talks.